Hey everyone! The latest episode of my podcast, Rationally Speaking, is a conversation with Scott Aronson, who's a friend of mine and a professor of computer science and electrical engineering at MIT. And we're discussing something called Allman's Agreement Theorem, which is a theorem uh, related to Bayesian probability theory that, under certain conditions, rational people can't agree to disagree. Meaning, if two rational people uh, sit down and share their opinions with each other, that they have to converge to the same opinion eventually, uh, again, under certain conditions. So I encourage you to check out the episode. It's a pretty interesting conversation. But for this video, I want to focus just on one interesting idea that we discussed a little bit in the show, which is something that I like to call meta-updating. So level one updating uh, is basically the idea that other people's opinions are evidence about what's true. So if a smart and reasonable and knowledgeable person thinks that a certain diet is bunk, uh, then that is some evidence that the diet is in fact bunk. Um, and I mean this evidence in the Bayesian sense, that uh, it is at least a little bit more likely that a smart, knowledgeable person would think diet X is bunk in the world in which diet X really is bunk than in the world in which diet X isn't bunk. So uh, I do level one updating all the time. Uh, for example, I'll you know, enter a discussion with, with a colleague of mine at CIFAR where I'll say, you know, uh, Kenzie, I've been thinking about it and I really think that instead of running our, our small 30 person workshops, we should run our workshops with 100 people. Here's why I think that. And I lay out my argument to her and she listens to me and says, uh, I disagree. I really think we should still stick to the small you know, 30 person workshops. Well, I know that Kenzie is smart and reasonable and knowledgeable about running workshops, and the fact that my reasons have failed to convince her is some evidence uh, against my big workshop position, uh, meaning it, sh it should update me at least somewhat away from my uh, big workshop position. How much it should update me, that depends. It depends on how confident I was in, in the big workshop argument to begin with. I can have different levels of confidence in my arguments, right? Like sometimes I'm just like, well, this seems plausible. It's, it's like plausible enough to float the idea to people. And other times I'm like, oh, this is like, not definitely, but I would be shocked if this argument were wrong. So it depends on that. Um, depends on my judgment of how knowledgeable Kenzie is relative to me. If I think she's like the guru of workshop design, of running workshops, and she's rarely wrong, and I'm only pretty good, then my failure to convince her should update me significantly away from my idea. So that's level one. Uh, level two updating is what happens when I tell Kenzie how much I've updated based on her failure to update. So if I say, well, you know, I hear that you didn't agree with me, but I'm still pretty confident that we should run a big workshop. Kenzie hears that and thinks to herself, well, I know Julia is smart and reasonable. Um, and I know that she knows that I'm smart and reasonable and, and knowledgeable about workshops. So if she knows that, and she knows that I disagree, and that still hasn't convinced her very much that she's wrong, well, that's interesting. That's some evidence that she's not wrong. Um, that's some evidence that maybe she's had stronger reasons to believe her argument than I realized, and or it's some evidence that she uh, actually, that, that she believes she has more expertise than I realized she did. And if she's smart and reasonable and she believes that, that's at least some evidence that she does in fact have more expertise than I thought she did. So. Julia's failure to update from my failure to update from her argument uh, should budge me at least somewhat away from my belief that, uh, that she was wrong. Now, how much it should budge me, uh, that depends. Uh, on the same kinds of considerations that I, Julia, uh, used to decide how much to update from Kenzie's failure to update in the level one updating. Now, in theory, you could carry this process out as many degrees as you wanted, uh, in practice, this is very computationally exhausting and confusing, and we rarely take it farther than level two. But that's still really useful, um, which is why I wanted to pass on to you the idea of meta-updating. And it frequently happens at CIFAR or in my social circles as well that, um, you know, I'll say X and Anna will say, mm, I don't think X. And I'll say, I still think X. And she'll say, oh, okay, then probably X. So I uh, wanted to give you the idea of meta-updating, and if you want to learn more about that uh, or about Allman's Agreement Theorem and, and what it says about what a rational disagreement should look like, 
you can check out the latest episode of my podcast. Uh, it's number 143 with Scott Aronson at rationallyspeakingpodcast.org. Till next time.